Namaste, everyone. Thank you for joining me in today's yoga practice. This be an hour intermediate yoga practice. It's a bit challenging as we move our body in strength, in patience, in gratitude. Now, in this class, I talk about patience, being patient with yourself in practice. Because when we are patient with ourselves, we don't have to compete with anyone. This yoga practice is personalized for you to allow you to grow within your practice on and off the mat. So as you hear me saying things like, what are the three things you do first thing in the morning? It is for you to reflect inward. Yeah, are you often on BBC or CNN watching the news first thing before you meditate? Maybe it's better for you to meditate before you can watch the news. Are you on your social media the first thing in the morning? So for me, when I wake up, I ask myself, once I blink my eyes, wow, I am up again. What a magical moment to be up. I am grateful for the light, for the breath, and to also show up on my mat and practice yoga. And not only that, to also share with the world. That means a lot to me. So with that being said, let's come onto the mat in Shavasana and enjoy a good flow. From me to you, namaste. If you find this content any way, shape or form, inspiring helpful share subscribe become part of the Om green wellness family my name is beth from me to you i'll see you on the mat namaste all right shavasana we are in allow yourself to scan the body Allow your shoulders to relax. <clears throat> Bring the awareness to your right foot. And I want you to rotate the ankles. Rotate the ankles. Release the ankle, right ankle. Bring your awareness to the left leg. Rotate the left ankle. Maybe here it crackles. Don't forget counterclockwise, clockwise direction. And now bring the right big toe and the left big toe inward. So I often practice Thai massage. So as you bring it inward, I want you to feel your navel, your knee, your hip, and then draw it outwards, flexing your toes. One more inward, great job. One more outwards. And then rotate the wrists. Right and left, right away, counterclockwise, clockwise direction. And then pause, bring both hands overhead. Reach the hands, grow taller, lengthen the spine. Mm, find a great stretch here, lengthen, pull in. As you exhale, you're gonna hug the right knee inward, hug it in. Oh, feel your back, just feel your back. From here, we're gonna bring that right leg over to the left. We're gonna start easy. And then look at the right hand, open through the chest. Mm. How are you feeling? Scan the body. And inhale, right leg in, draw it in. I want you to release the right leg. Hug the left knee in, give it a squeeze. Feel your lower back, especially if you have sciatic problem here. Just feel it, send breath to it. Left leg over to the right side. Allow your left hand to come into a go pose, cat this arm. And allow your shoulders to relax. Just feel your twist. Inhale, draw the left knee inward, the right knee inward. Draw it together and then look, lift the legs. That was my back. And then open through those back of the legs. Great pose. I want you to flex your toes, feel all of your hamstring, and allow your shoulders to relax. 
Take a big breath in and then hug your knee once more. We're going to gently rock forward and back a couple of times, really massaging the back. It supports us. And then slowly press yourself to seated, easy pose. Inhale, float the hands up. Find that length. Draw shoulders away from the ears. Breathe in. I want you to use the left hand. Catch the right wrist. Just be nice to the shoulder. We're going to lean all the way to the left side. Breath. In and out. Close the eyes here. Just stretch it out. The side body. And back to center. Right hand catches the left wrist. And the next step. Ooh, find the breath. Taking a big breath in, come back to center. I want you to make a fist. Shrug the shoulder towards the ears. Hold it there and then roll it back. Open the heart. Lift the sternum. One more time. Inhale, shrug the shoulder towards the ears. Make your fist. Draw it down and then roll it down. Inhale, shrug it. This time, roll it forward. Finding your breath. Shrug up, back. Shrug up forward. Hands switch up, open the eyes, bring the hands in front of the heart, focus on one particular spot that is not moving, and set an intention for your practice. Allow yourself to scan the body. How are you? How are you feeling? Breathe in and breathe out. Then when you have it, inhale. Bring yourself into your tabletop right away. And I want you to look forward to your mat and then find breath. And then lower your chest on the mat. Your hip is a bit lifted. Find your breath in and out. And then reach the hands towards the, heel, the knee rather than the heels. So your chest is on the mat. Your shoulders are away from the ears. Look forward, lengthen. And then straighten the legs. Bring your belly down. Inhale, coming into cobra, finding the back bend, finding your shoulder, lengthen the spine, feel the joy on the back. Exhale, roll down. Inhale, lift on up. Once again, you can start to lift the hands up. Notice your breath. Exhale, the hands down. Inhale, lift on up. So think about you have a red nose day as you roll your head up like a cobra. Exhale down. Tuck the toes under. Inhale, come back into that tabletop once again. Extend the right leg back. Finding that length, pulling the belly in. Exhale, bring that right leg outside of the right hand. Inhale, take the right hand all the way up. Open through the heart center. Look at your right hand. Exhale, the right hand down. Tuck the left leg under. Take a big breath in. Lower your left leg on the mat. Inhale, rise up. Warrior two. Just checking in. Back is flat. Pull the navel in. Right knee bent. Finding your breath. Inhale. Maybe you close your eyes. You're sinking. Exhale. Inhale, rise up into your high lunge. Caress and lunge. Taking a big breath in. Bring the hands in front of the heart. Find your shoulder. Find that left leg. Reach the hands back down, open through the sternum, pull the belly in, then inhale, lift on up, airplane pose. Extending that left leg, take a big breath in, and a big breath out. Just noticing how your right leg is feeling, maybe straighten the right leg a little bit more. Exhale that left leg behind the right one. Then inhale, hands come down on the mat, forward fold. Just keep that right leg over the left fold. Just feel all of the goodness in the hamstring. Maybe push on the left big toe and allow your head to relax. We have a long way to go, but we have a short time to finish the long way. So think about persistency, patience, practice. Really find your breath. Then inhale, unravel the left leg. Bring the left leg to meet with the right leg. Bend the knees, sit it low, chair pose, you katasana. You are doing great. Just showing up to your mat. But I want you to practice patience. 
being patient with yourself. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Relax the head. Relax the shoulder. Inhale, look forward once again. Step back or jump back to Taranga Dandasana. Nothing wrong with stepping back because we have a long way. Elbow, humpy ribcage. Inhale, upward facing dog. Top of the legs on the mat, lengthen the spine. Drop to your knees. Press into your elbow, finding your breath, and bring your thumb together. So your elbow is on the mat. You're going to walk your elbow a bit more forward. Release your head and then bring, bring your head on the mat and bring your thumb as so towards the back of the neck. Taking a big breath in. Maybe you walk your leg back. Opening those armpits. Lengthening the spine. Inhale, push the hands forward. Come back into the forearm. Just noticing your breath. Tuck the toes under and lift into a forearm plank. So even though we start in Shavasana, it's just a different way to make salad. Finding the breath. I'm always talking about food because I make yummy food, I think. Finding your breath. Inhale, roll over to the left side. Then inhale, take the right hand all the way up. Find your side body. Push into that left forearm. We just started finding your breath. Exhale, roll back into the forearm. Right side, right forearm. Lifting through the side body. Now find that patience. Be patient with yourself. Don't rush through the poses. Allow yourself to breathe and allow yourself to smile. I, I tell you, laughter is the greatest medicine of all times. Come back into the forearm. When the road gets tough, it does get tough. It's not always a smooth road. When you smile, you melt away every tension. You solve problems that you didn't know that you have. When you greet someone and you smile, you give them the permission to return that smile back. Lower to your knees and come back into that tabletop. We just started. Inhale, take the left leg back. Lengthen the spine. Pull the belly in. Back. Lengthen. Shoulder away from the ears. Exhale, bring that left leg outside of the left hand. So pull in. Find breath. Right hand stays. Inhale, take the left hand all the way up. More push into the right leg, more create this space. Shoulder away from the ears. You got it. Breathe in and breathe out. Notice the warmth. Inhale. Exhale, bring the left hand down. Tuck the right leg under. Breathe in and breathe out. And rise up into your high lunge, crescent lunge. Noticing your breath. Shoulder away from the ears. Left knee bent, lengthen. Then inhale, pivot on the right leg and return into warrior two. Check in, back is flat, shoulder away from the ears, extending, finding that right leg. Taking a big breath in. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, rise back up into your crescent lunge, high lunge, noticing your breath, extending that back leg. Then when you have an inhale, bring the hands in Anjali Mudra. Find your balance. Look forward, lengthen, tip forward. Then reach your hands back. As you reach your hands back, take the right leg up. Airplane pose. Finding your breath. Extend it through that back leg. Pull your belly in straight in the left leg. Just feel the joy on that hamstring. Left toes pointing forward. You got it. Exhale, bring the right leg back behind the left one. And exhale, the hands come down. Inhale, look forward to extend again. Exhale, fold. See whether you can relax the head. Straighten the leg. Just commit to it and breathe. Breathe in and breathe out. Let it go. And when you have it unravel that left leg, bring it to the right leg. Inhale, rise up into your chair pose. Katasana, tailbone under. Maybe you move the hip right and left. Sitting a little bit low. Now lift your toes. You're sitting back. Finding that length. Exhale, forward fold. Shut it down. Uttanasana. 
find your breath once again. Just letting the legs straight. Inhale, look forward. Yeah. Flat the hands on the mat. Step back or jump back. Again, nothing wrong with stepping back. Yogi push up. Elbow hug the rib cage. Three, two, one. Inhale, upward facing dog. Notice your breath. Draw through the shoulder, open through the heart center. Lower to your knees. Come back into tabletop. As you exhale, bring your forearm on the mat. As if you're praying. Maybe you are. Maybe you need a prayer. Lower your head on the mat and bring your hand to the base of the skull. And then open the wings. Feel your armpit stretching. Taking a big breath in. Open. Maybe you walk your legs back, find your breath. Inhale, rolling back into your forearm. You got this. Then inhale, pressing up into your forearm plank. O and G, it gets even easier. Bring the right forearm on the mat. Roll over to the right side, stack the left leg on top of the right. Taking a big breath in and a big breath out. Notice your shoulder, bring the left leg up. Hold it here, maybe you hold the knee. Just lift it through the hip. Find your shoulder, find your breath. Exhale, bring the left leg behind the right one. Inhale, lift on up, while thin variation. You know, I read and I listen. Sometimes it's not always available to come to the hands. Taking a big breath in. Come back into the side plank like nothing happened. Exhale, lower to your knee. Then inhale, you're going to come back up. Exhale, lower to your knee. Rather, to your hip, hand and the knee. Inhale, come up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Last one. Inhale, up. And come back into the forearm on the left. Breathe in and breathe out. We're going to go over to the left side. Stack or stagger. Notice your breath, right hand reach high. Opening, push into that left forearm. Extend. I want you to feel your side butt. Now lift your right leg up. Yeah, finding that leg. You can hold your knee, just hold it here, squeeze it in. Push into that left forearm. Lengthen the spine and bring the left leg behind the right one. There is so many ways to make that kale salad. Don't go only one way. Then open the hip, but feel your shoulder, find your breath, energizing, extending, being patient with yourself. Take a big breath in, return the left leg to the left, to right leg to the left, and then bring your hands to your hip. Exhale, lower down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Three good ones. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale. Bring your forearm on the mat. Finding that breath. Again, be patient with yourself. If it's a good day to come on the knee, come on the knee. There's no judgment whatsoever in this practice. It's all you can do. Don't let the ego start to work on you. Just work on yourself and not the ego. Now, from here, you're going to press into your dolphin pose. Walk your legs inward. Find that hamstring. Love it. Love on it. Relax the head. Relax the shoulder. Breathe in. Broaden across the chest. Take a big breath in. It's a good day. Inhale. Come back into those hands, downward facing dog. Taking a big breath in, exhale, let it go. <sighs> now from here, inhale, walk your hands towards your feet. Forward fold, Uttanasana, relax the head. Relax the shoulder. Inhale, reach the hands all the way up. Find your breath, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bring the hands in Anjali Mudra. Inhale, reach the hands all the way up. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, look forward, lengthen. Walk your hands forward. Yogi push up. Three, two, 
one upward facing dog finding that length downward facing dog great job inhale float the left leg up exhale the left leg in between the hand mindfully inhale rise up high lunge press and lunge you're doing great hands in front of the heart in angeli mudra sinking in finding your breath just connect with that intention of patience the virtue of patience right elbow outside of the left knee thumb to sternum and twist we love our twist push into that right foot open through the back body find your shoulders breathe in take a big breath in inhale rise up into your warrior two vidrapadrasana two how are you doing inhale exhale just when i ask you how you're doing is to check in that you're not forcing yourself into a pose exhale cartwheel the hands inside that left leg take a big breath in look forward lengthen exhale take the left leg back and up three like a dog take a big breath in into your three legged push up yogi push up three two one upward facing dog finding that breath downward facing dog right away bring your forearm on the mat you know the party you know the drill relax the head relax the shoulder inhale coming into your forearm plank finding your breath make that necessary adjustment maybe you walk your legs back maybe you're pushing into the forearm lift the left leg up elbow to knee in her back knee to elbow rather take it back knee to elbow all the way back hug it in all the way back again hug it in take it back and hug it in stay here breathe lengthen feel your back body feel the strength left leg back forearm plank now bring the hands in the elbow lo lovely and bring the hands in front of the chin breathe in i can talk now open engage <laughs> exhale lower the forearm on the mat finding your breath readjust the legs if you need to lower those bumps see down lift the right leg up for five hug it in two three four and five hold five take the right leg back lower it to your knees bring the hands in prayer elbow down chest head hands towards the back connect with your breath there's no need to breathe fast we're not running a marathon we're doing yoga find that length find your shoulder breathe in and breathe out inhale release the hands on the mat then you come back into your downward facing dog find that length find your breath shoulder away from the ears walk your hands towards your legs and fold plus opposite elbow relax the head maybe the knee is slightly bent relax the shoulder inhale sweep the hands all the way to the sky exhale bring the hands in front of the heart and anjali mudra look at the front of your mat notice the journey that you're having with yourself taking a big breath in and a big breath out inhale hands reach up exhale fold inhale reach the hands forward plank yogi push up upward facing dog downward facing dog float the right leg up Point toes, keep the hips squared. Find that length, exhale, bring the right leg in between the hand in. High lunge, crescent lunge. Finding your breath, pushing that left leg back. Smile a little and bring the hands in Anjali Mudra. Left elbow outside of the right knee. Open through that back body, hands in Namaskara. Push into that right leg, push the left leg back. Lengthen the spine, you gotta breathe. If you're not breathing, if you're not smiling, it's not yoga. Then unravel that left hand like the warrior and come into warrior two, Bhadra Bhadrasana two. You are great. You are amazing. You are enough. You are the love. You are the light. You might as well shine brighter every day. Taking a big breath in, a big breath out. Exhale, cartwheel the hands inside that right leg. Pause here for a moment, breathe in, look forward, open through the heart take that right leg back three-legged dog 
Find the breath. Inhale. Three-legged push-up. Hold it here. Three, two, one. Hold it. One, two, three. Upward facing dog. Notice your breath. Find your shoulder and come back into plank. Yeah? Any different? Lower your knee on the mat. Bring your elbow on the mat. And then bring the hands in prayer. Lower your head. We've been here before. Adjust the legs and bring the thumb behind your neck. Continue to stretch out, continue to find that breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lower your forearm on the mat, roll forward, and come into forearm plank. Oh boy. Find the breath. Over to the right side, side plank. So noticing that side body, lift the left hand all the way up. Lower the right hip, and then inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, and bring your forearm back on the mat. Maybe you need to adjust your wardrobe like I am. Find that length. Over on the left side, side plank. Bring your left forearm on the mat. Take the right hand up. Stack or stagger. Lower, inhale up, squeeze everything together and come up. Last three, make sure you're breathing. Come back into the forearm, find your breath. Keep those hips low, finding breath. Take the left leg up, bring it towards the left elbow, left knee rather than the left elbow. Bring it to the right side, to the left, to the right. To the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. It's like a song, left, right. Take the left leg back. Dolphin pose. Stay here. Breathe in. You are doing great. I know it's challenging. But sometimes when we don't do these poses, they become more challenging. So inhale here. Come back into that forearm plank. Bring your right knee to your right elbow. To the left elbow. To the right, to the left, like a pendulum, right, left, two more, last one. Take the right leg back, come into dolphin pose. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale into your plank, find that breath like nothing happened. Float the left leg up, bend the knee now, open the hip. Are we ready? Find your breath. Bring your right forearm on the mat and flip the dog and then extend the right leg forward, open through that shoulder. Taking a big breath in. Come back into your forearm, finding your breath. Inhale forward into plank, yogi push up. Inhale upward facing dog, downward facing. Great job. Inhale, take the right leg up. Bend the knee, open the hip. Relax the neck, relax the shoulder. Flip the dog, and then right away, bring your left forearm on the mat. And take the right hand back. Notice your breath. Notice your shoulder. Take a big breath in. Come back into the forearm like nothing happened. Inhale into plank. Yogi push up. Hold it here. Three, two, one. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Finding that breath. Inhale, take the right leg up. Knee to nose. Round in here. Right leg in between the hand. High lunge. Crescent lunge. Notice your breath. Hands in Angela Mudra. Noticing your hip as you sink in. Feel the sweat melt away. Left elbow outside of the right. Thumb to sternum. Twisting is great. Open through the heart. Inhale, rise up, warrior two. Badra, badrasana two. Take a big breath in, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bring the right hand down. Inhale, the left hand forward. Open through that side body. Breathe in. Oh, breathe out. 
Exhale the left forearm on the mat. Then inhale, look forward. Take the right leg, back it up. Lower down, plank. Yogi push up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Come back, downward facing dog. Just stay here or take a child's pose. Connect with your breath. Notice your shoulder. All right, we don't have a long time. We have a short time to go. Taking a big breath in and a big breath out. Inhale, float the left leg all the way to the sky. Lengthen the spine, be proud and draw that knee towards the chest. Hold it here. Three, two, one. Bring the left leg in between the hand. High lunge, crescent lunge. Mm, sinking in, don't rush it, don't rush, don't rush. That's the song. <laughs> Hands in Angela Mudra. Find your breath, breathe in, feel your heart beat. Right elbow outside of the left, thumb to sternum, and start to twist. Don't forget, you can always take this twist a little bit deeper, but just notice where you are. Find your shoulders open through that left leg and right leg. Inhale, rise up into your warrior two. Unravel as you come into warrior two. Find your shoulder, breathe in and breathe out. Lengthen the spine. As you exhale now, bring the left hand inside the left leg. Right hand, reach across. Extended side angle. Use a block on the left hand if it's too much. Push into that right leg. Finding that length. Finding the breath. Exhale, bring the right hand down. Pause here for a moment, look forward, lengthen. Inhale, take the left leg all the way up to the sky. Breathe in and breathe out. Exhale, lower the left leg down on the mat, come into your high plank. Yogi push up, three, two, one. Upward facing dog, one, two, and three. Lower the knee on the mat. And then slowly bring your hip towards the heels. Bring the elbow on the mat right in front of you. And then bring the hands in Namaskar. So from here, you're going to start to lower the head. And then bring your thumb to the middle of your back. Notice your breath. You can walk the legs back. And then start to bring your chest on the mat. Breathe in. And breathe out. Open those armpits, your shoulders, your heart. Lower your forearm on the mat. And then inhale, roll forward into your forearm plank. Find your length. Find your breath. Interlace the hand. Walk your legs into your dolphin pose. We've been here before. Your hands are interlaced. Bring the leg on the mat. Walk your legs a little bit further. Take a big breath in. And lift the legs up. One, two, and three. Squeeze those bumsy. Extend, point the toes. Lengthen the spine. And breathe. Just breathing here. You can cross the leg. You can lengthen the spine. And we're preparing ourselves into our child's pose. Unravel those legs and lower down. Right away, child's pose. It's necessary to take the child's pose. Find your breath. Inhale, come up into your tabletop. That was just warm up, <laughs> if you're wondering. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round. Cats and cow, inhale, look up. Exhale, round. I sometimes find myself laughing at myself. Or with myself, open. Exhale, round, don't frown. Two more on your own. Come back to center into neutral spine. Tuck your toes under. Press into your downward facing dog. Taking a big breath in, float the left leg to the sky. 
take a big breath, bring that left knee to left elbow, to the right elbow, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. Patience, you will get there. It's challenging, you do only one. Last one, take that left leg up and bring it in between the hand. I'm sure the hands want to break. Warrior one, Badra Badrasana one. Mm. Square those hips, lengthen the spine, breathe in and out. Notice your shoulder. Exhale, bring the hands behind you, interlace the hand, open the heart, draw the knuckles down. Square the hip once again, exhale, humble warrior. Finding your right leg, maybe you bend that left leg a little bit more. Check in with your right foot, is it still active? Is your knuckles still reaching forward? Is your head relaxed? Breath, everybody. Exhale, bring both hands inside that left leg. Push the right leg back, lower to your right knee. Extend, first extend, and lower to the outer edge of the left leg and bring your forearm on the mat. Again, you can put a pillow on the left knee if it's too much for you, don't force it. Now, if you've grown a little taller, you can reach back and catch the left, right leg rather, with the left hand open. We're so warmed up, but we have to be also mindful. Being mindful in your practice is not only working on that patience, but it's also checking in with the ego. Lower your left leg on the mat, and then inhale, lower your right leg, and come back into that low push-up. Yogi push-up. Three, two, one. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Extend here. Bring your forearm on the mat and generously walk your leg in. Don't worry if you can't even do the pose. You are halfway there. So we're going to try to do our forearm handstand. So push into the forearm. Maybe this is where you are. Remember I said patience. Even I have to be patient with myself. When you have it, float your favorite leg up. If that's all you can do, you've done well. If you further to go, make sure you're not slipping and sliding. You're gonna lift the left leg up. Power through the core. And then bring the left leg to me with the right. Breathe in. Make sure you're breathing. Make sure you're extending. If you fall, it's okay. It's practice, it's yoga practice. I didn't say it was yoga perfection. Taking any leg variation, being playful, and lower down. Take child's pose. It's a good day. It's going to be a good day. It is a lovely day. It has been a great day. Take a big breath in and come back into your plank position, finding your breath, downward facing dog. Great job, everybody. Take your right leg up, right knee, right elbow, to the left, to the right. How many can you do without getting tired, without having to frown? without pushing onto your wrist. Last two. Inhale, right leg reach high. Right leg draws towards the nose, round it here. Bring that right leg in between the hand and rise up, warrior one. Badra badrasana one. Square the hip, lengthen the spine, push on that left leg, open through that back body. Make sure you're not collapsing on the lower back. Pull your ribcage in. Mula Bandha, engage. Inhale. Finding that length. Exhale, bring the hands behind you. Draw the knuckles down. Notice your shoulder. Lift the sternum. Look up. Push on the outer edge of that left foot. As you exhale, humble warrior. 
Notice your breath. Notice that left leg lengthen the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, rise up back to warrior one and open up into warrior two. Just check in. Shoulder away from your ears. Finding that length. Exhale, bring both hands inside that le right leg. Tuck the left leg under. Roll to the outer edge of the right foot. Lower your left knee on the mat. Maybe this is the only way you can go. You can just stay here. Or bring your forearm on the mat. Be mindful of your knee. Take it easy. If you feel sharp pain, back off. Right forearm on the mat. Finding that hip. Maybe you reach back and catch the left leg. Only if you're feeling comfortable. Don't force any of the poses and breathe into those hips. Lower the left foot on the mat. Then inhale, come back into those hands. Take a big breath and lift the left knee and we make it to our yogi push-up. Elbow hug the ribcage, three, two, one. Upward facing dog, finding your breath. Downward facing dog. Take a big breath in, lift the left leg up. Bring it in between the hand. Warrior one, check in, finding your breath, finding your shoulder. Interlace the hand, release the index finger. Bend the left leg, lean forward. Inhale, lift on up, warrior three. So go to where you are comfortable as I fall, as I lean, breathe in, breathe out. Take that right leg back, warrior two. Badra, badra, two. Straighten the left leg, reach the right hand down, open, peaceful triangle. Drawing that shoulder away from the ears. Find that length, push into that right leg, extend. Reach the left hand forward and down, triangle pose. You can bind, but take the right hand up. Back is flat. Pull the belly in. Rip cage in. Bend the left leg and come into warrior two. Exhale, cartwheel the hands to the mat. Inhale, look forward. Exhale. Inhale, take the left leg up. Three-legged dog. Three-legged plank. Yogi push up. Hold here. Three, two, one. Upward facing dog. Shoulder away from the ears. Lower down and bring your hip to your heels. Child's pose. Just pause here for a moment. Taking a big breath in. Inhale, roll up back again into your plank. Exhale, lower your knee. Child's pose. Inhale, rolling up to your plank. Exhale, lower to your knee. Child's pose. Inhale, rolling up to your plank. Yogi push up. Upward dog. And push back into your child's pose. Inhale into plank. You got it. Yogi push up. Upward dog. Notice your breath. Back into your plank. Exhale, child's pose. Quiet right away. Inhale into your plank. Yogi push up. Give me all you got. Upward facing dog. Back into plank. Exhale, lower child's pose. Inhale into plank. Exhale, downward dog. Taking a big breath in. And a big breath. Inhale, take the right leg up, all the way up to the sky. Extending here, breathing in, in and out. Right knee, right elbow, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, 
to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. Inhale, right leg, reach high. Exhale, right leg into the chest, rounding through the back body. Neck is long. Right leg in between the hand. Vedra Bhadrasana one. Square the hip. Notice your breath pushing to the outer edge of that left leg. Interlace the hand, release the index finger. Make sure you're pushing on that left leg, hip is squared. Pull the belly in, right knee 90 degrees. Lean forward, pause. Find something that is no longer moving. When you have an inhale, lift. Warrior three on this side. So even if you fall, it's okay. We are all humans. Finding that breath. Relaxing the shoulder, any hand variation, you're good. Inhale, rise back up, warrior one. Open up into your warrior two. Tailbone under, a little smile. Don't forget your smile. Sometimes I'm focused on remembering all these sequences, but doesn't mean that you can't smile at yourself if you forget. Sure, in the right leg, reverse triangle. Just pause here, open and enjoy thy hip opener. Lengthening the spine, breathe in. It's going to be a good day. So it's not only what we say to ourselves. I make this habit every morning when I wake up. I ask myself, what am I grateful for? What am I really grateful for? I'm able to show up and practice yoga with all of you. Reaching that right hand forward, hinging from the hip, triangle pose. I am grateful for me to move with ease. What are you grateful for? What right when you rise up in the morning, are you reaching for the phone? Are you going on the social media to catch up with the next gossip? It doesn't serve us. Find your breath, inhale, rise up, warrior two. Finding that length, finding your shoulder and breathe in. Exhale, bring those hands inside the right leg. Find that length, lengthen the spine, and then take the right leg back and up, three-legged dog. Extending, inhale, three-legged plank, shoulder away from the ears, exhale, lower the right leg, yogi push-up, three, two, one, upward facing dog. Finding your breath and come back into plank. Exhale, press back, downward dog. A little bit of the party has changed. Bend the knee, look to the outside of the hands. Once you land forward, Malasana, I want you to bring your hip down, Navasana. No time for, no time for us to stay in Malasana. And then come into boat, low boat. We're gonna press into shoulder stand for all my friends who are not able to do the inversion. That way you have something to enjoy. Bring the legs overhead, support the back. Make sure your legs can touch the mat. And then when you have it, finding your shoulder, and then interlace the hands and come into Halasana. Shrug your shoulder. Make sure you are comfortable. Make sure you can even say, oh, before you go anywhere. Then inhale, support your back and lift on up. Maybe you have the pose where you can open the leg. Maybe you have the space even. But no matter where you are, make sure you are having fun. F-U-N. F for Frank. <laughs> U for union. N. <laughs> Find your breath. Inhale. Bring the legs overhead. Support the back. Find the shoulder, end for noble. You did it. Now, you're going to promise me that you're not going to hurt yourself in this pose. From here, we're going to support the back. We're going to start to bend the right leg. Support the back. Always support the back. Right leg comes down. The left leg follows the right leg. We're going to take it into bridge pose. So that is the beauty of yoga. If you do not have it, please roll down and go back and come into bridge pose in a noble price. 
don't force anything. I'm serious because you only have one body. Why force it? Here we go again. We're going to support the back. If you supported the back and came up, you support the back and go up back into shoulder stance. Here we are. I don't have a magic wand, but I think it's about patience. We're going to try it again. I'm a big proponent, 10,000 hours, that he took the Beatles to be the perfect and the amazing musicians of all time. So similarly, we can also be great yogi. I'm not looking to be a perfect yogi, but a great yogi. All right, we're going to bend the left leg now. We're going to support the back. And inhale, you're going to charge, support, 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 touch the leg, bring the right leg to meet with the left. Sometimes the other side might be easier. And then open, supported bridge, bring the hands underneath you, and then open. So your hands are underneath you, the back of the neck is on the mat. We're going to transfer the weights to the left leg and take the right leg forward. Point those toes, lift the right leg up, lower the foot. Inhale it up, exhale it down, inhale it up, exhale it down, inhale up, exhale down, all the way down on the mat. Yeah, maybe you adjust the hands, supported bridge, also good for the wrist and the elbow. Push on the right big toe, on the right leg, inhale, lift the left leg all the way to the sky. Exhale, lower, halfway in. Point of flex. Inhale it up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. You got two more. Last one for good measure. Can you come back up into shoulder stance? So inhale, lift those knee. I'll get in. Adjust the hands, shoulder stance. If you're still with me, you're doing great. Lower back down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Head is the last to come up. And then bring the hands on your lower back. Look to your toes, arch the back. And then come into fish pose. Open the sternum, arch the back. You can take it into kingfish. I'm in low fish, and then hands reach forward for king fish, a little bit challenging. Open. Breathe. Exhale down. Hands underneath you, and then bring your head on the mat. We made it this far. Draw your right knee in, left leg straight. Notice your breath. Hug the knee in. Inhale, rock your way back. To seated, draw that knee towards the chest, right hand behind you, left elbow hugs in and twist, shoulder away from the ears. You're doing great. Keep the left leg active, lengthen the spine, inhale, look forward, hands reach up, exhale, counter twist, open the hip, finding that length, draw the rib cage in. Come back to center. Then inhale, bring that right foot in towards the perineum. Hands reach up, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Catch your left leg, maybe bind here, and then exhale, draw yourself down. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, hands reach up. Straighten that right leg, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bring the hands behind you. Option one, tabletop. Open. Option two, reverse plank. Get jiggy with it. Open through those back body triceps, fire it up. Exhale, lower and bring the left leg in. Hug the knee in. Activate the right leg, back of that knee on the mat. Left hand back, right hand twists. Notice your breath, notice the left shoulder, and pull your belly in. And you got it, just smile. Oh, smile, smile, smile. Inhale, hands reach up. Exhale, twist to the right, counter twist. More breathe, more lengthen, more lengthen. 
or smile. Come back to center, gaze forward. Bring that left leg towards the perineum. Extend both hands all the way up. The right, left hand catches the right wrist. Draw shoulder down. Breathe in and exhale. Catch the right foot. Back of that right knee on the mat. Lengthen the spine. Exhale forward. Just breathe completely in and out. Inhale, start to make your way all the way. Hands reach up. Straighten both legs. Hands behind you. Inhale. One option, tabletop. Inhale, lift. Bumsy squeeze in it. Find your shoulder. Or reverse plank. Point toes and lift. Tricep, bicep to engage. Exhale, lower the hip down. Back of the knee on the mat, hands reach up. Exhale, seated forward fold. Catch the legs, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Notice all that hard work you've been doing. Start to slow it down. Breathe in and out. Relax the shoulder and the neck. Inhale, hands reach up. Exhale, bring the hands behind you. Bend the knee, bring the legs together or apart rather, and come into Malasana. Just working on your breath. Shoulder away from the ears. Open the hip. Exhale, bring the hands down. Inhale, lift the hips to the sky. And then walk your legs a little bit farther inward and further out. Lengthen the spine. Find your shoulder, find the back of your leg. Lengthen, right hand stays, inhale, the left hand reach all the way up. Push into that right leg, back, it's nice and flat. You can actually balance a cup of hot tea on your back. Please don't do it at home. <laughs> Exhale, bring the left hand down. Inhale, right hand reach high. Just checking in, unraveling, taking a big breath in. Exhale, bring the hands down. Now, try to bring the hands to be aligned with the heels and then push into the leg. Look forward, lengthen. Find your bumsy as you exhale. Bring the head on the mat. Then inhale, lift on up into your tripod headstand. Take it moment by moment. Lifting, extending, tight space, and go into your tripod headstand. Notice in your back body, you can take any leg variation. Any leg variation is important, but not so important. You want to be able to balance before you can take any leg variation. Remember, be patient with yourself. Each day is a new day. Prep yourself, come back in, and then look forward, lengthen. Exhale, Skandasana on the left side. Just opening through those hips. We've done a lot of work today. Bring the hands down, Skandasana on the right side. Just checking in. How are we doing? And then slowly and mindfully, bring your legs back. And then clasp opposite elbow. Let the head relax. Just feel all of your body and then fold. Option to take it into bind and draw the knuckles down. Just work on your breath. Drawing those kneecap towards the body. And allow yourself a moment or two to find yourself and release those hands and start to walk your legs inward and then release. Come and lay on your mat. The good thing is that we've done the Shavasana. Release here, Shavasana. 
Let it go. Do any last minute poses that calls for your attention. Now, bring the wrist, rotate the wrist, clockwise direction, counterclockwise. Bring your awareness to your ankle, rotate the ankle clockwise and counterclockwise. Hug your knee inward, hug your left knee in, squeeze, and then start to rock forward and back a couple of times. Noticing your breath. And then rock your way to seated. Find yourself in easy pose. Hands reach all the way up. And we twist, final twist to the right side. Inhale, hands reach up to the left side. Come back to center. Hands reach all the way to the sky. Interlace the hand, press the palm all the way up. Round it here. Inhale, lifting. Then rounding. One more time. Inhale, lifting. Rounding. Close your eyes and open those hands and wrap the hands around you. Squeeze in and bring the hands to the heart center. Mm. May I continue to find the love within, the light. Bring the hands to the lips. May I continue to speak my truth. May I continue to speak kindness of others as I speak kindness to myself. To the third eyes, may I have the discernment, the wisdom to defy what is the truth and untruth. Reach the hands overhead as a gesture of our gratitude to the founders and teachers of yoga for all they have taught us and continue to teach us. The light in me honors and cherishes the light in each and every one of you for showing up. Namaste. Bowing to the divine self, to your higher self. To your younger self, I am patient, I am enough. Take a moment and come back, warm up those hands, open your eyes, mm -hmm. find where it's comfortable. Mm. What a sense of gratitude there. Stay.